today we're building a Rube Goldberg machine. What we're doing here is building model of graphene. The system that's being made currently is a miniature aquaponic system. So at the minute we're doing doodle bots in the power hall. So what's happening is grown-ups and children are making a doodling robot. They're basically really overly complicated machines that do a simple task in the most ridiculously complex way possible. And we've got lots of science involved in this. Each little step in the machine has actually got some really important science in it that helps it progress to the next part. We have people all over the place making bits of graphene to, that I'm putting together outside. We're trying to set a world record for the largest graphene model ever built with the help of people that are visiting the museum today for the science festival. We can take something that is very, very big that produces thousands of crops a week, but actually we can condense that into a fishbowl. It's so scalable, it can be so small and it can be so massive because it uses the same principles. Uh, and I definitely see the future of aquaponics as being within dwellings, producing food for the, the inhabitants of those buildings. We built a structure and it's divided with actors behind one side and the public are invited to walk in front of them. It's an opportunity for people to engage with another in a way that is totally unusual. Uh, something that would never be found in, in normal life. There's an expectation uh, that your curiosity is going to be raised and that there may be experiments. I think people are coming ready to engage and ready to explore. You spend ages and ages working really hard with stuff that looks like junk and when you get it in just the right order, something amazing happens that you completely didn't expect. And that's what it's like to do a science experiment. If you look inside your car engine or even really inside a computer, it's such a massively complicated, orchestrated set of events that all pull off just right to make something that you would think is an easy task happen in what's really a very complicated way. It is very stressful, it's very nerve-wracking, but it is rewarding when you see it all come together at the end.